Welcome yourselves to the Derby County versus Swansea City pre-match press conference. Obviously, there's been some big problems for Derby County over the course of this pre-season. Some players have opted out of contract extension. Some players want to leave the club and there's been some big, big injuries for Derby County as well heading into this one. So, shall we just get straight into it? Ask your questions. So you mentioned injuries. Which players are going to be missing for the opening day of the season versus Swansea? What are we going to see? Is there any big names out? Let us know. So to be quite honest with you, we have lost some really, really big players. Josh Vickers picked up a groin injury. He's going to be a, a doubt for this one, potentially on the bench as the second choice goalkeeper. There's also been injuries to Marcus Harness and to uh, Nathaniel Mendes Lang, which will see them miss the first game of the season. And there's also a problem for Jerry Yates, who's going to be ineligible for this one as his parent club is the one who we're going to be facing up against. So it's going to be a bit of a difficult one. Craig Forsyth, unfortunately, has done his ACL, so he's going to be out for the rest of the season, pretty much. Mendes Lang is going to be out for the next 12 to 15 days. And Marcus Harness has broken his ribs. He'll be out for the next five weeks. Now, you mentioned players leaving in the transfer window. Which players are have left the club? Which players are still about? What is going on? So, to put it simply, Jake Rooney, uh, a player who suffered a big injury last season, he's found himself heading out on loan to Crawley until January. That may get extended or he may come back, depending on the situation with injuries and things like that, heading into that January transfer window. But Joe Ward also received an offer from Blackpool, which was a loan deal with an optional uh, pay fee, essentially, at the end of the season. Uh, Ultimately, I rejected it. I see him as a big part of the squad, but ultimately he came to me after and requested to leave. Um, so he is up on the transfer market. Everybody knows about it. He's not particularly a player I want to get rid of, but if the right offer comes in, we will see him leave the club. You also mentioned some players choosing to opt out of their contracts. Which players are they? Are we going to still see them about the team for this season or are you going to try and move them on early doors? So the two players which have essentially requested to leave at the end of their contracts are Curtis Nelson and Ryan Niambi. Ultimately, I still see them as a big part of the plans and hopefully over the course of this season, we will try and figure it out over the course of the season, see if we can get them uh, to renew their deals. But shall we get into the Swansea City game? Shall we actually take a look ahead to this one? Obviously, missing a few big players, as you know, but let's get into it. Let's see what Derby County can do versus Swansea City. So here we have it then. Derby County are facing up against Swansea City. As mentioned in the press conference, Craig Forsyth is out for pretty much the season. Mendes Lang is out for up to 12 days and uh, Marcus Harness is out for essentially the next few weeks. And obviously Jerry Yates is unavailable to start off this campaign. So shall we get straight into this game versus Swansea? Uh, let's pick the team. So for me, we're going to go with Jakub Zetterstrom in goal. Uh, Ryan Niambi at right back. Curtis Nelson as that right centre-back with Erin Cashin at left centre-back. We're going to go with Callum Elder at left wing-back. We're going to start with Ebo Adams, uh, Ben Osborne and Kenzo Haldmine. On the right-hand side, we're going to go with Caden Jackson. On the left-hand side, we're going to go with Corey Blackett-Taylor. And through the middle, probably a surprising one. But I'm going to start with Dejon Brown, I am. And then on the bench, we're going to go with Josh Vickers uh, as sort of a backup goalkeeper. We're then going to go Kane Wilson, Nat Phillips. We're going to get make sure David Ozo and Liam Thompson's on the bench. Obviously, we're going to need James Collins. We're going to need Tom Barkazen, Tawanda Chiwa. Joe Ward's going to get on there as well. Let's just sort out this bench so everybody's in the right place. Uh, it's going to look a little bit like this. So we've got a ton of options on the bench. Let's get into this Swansea City game. Let's see how they are going to line up. Let's submit the squad. Let's see what we're going to be playing against. We've done really, really well in preseason. We'll go through those uh, games after this one. So let's look at the two sides. So we've gone Zetterstrom, Nelson, uh, Niambi, Cashin, Elder, Adams, Kenzo, Ben Osborne, Caden Jackson, Blackett Taylor, Dejan Brown. They've gone with uh, Vigru, uh, Cobango, Darling, Tijano, uh, Key, Allen, Grimes, Time and Cooper, Pearl Harris and Vip Topnik. I've definitely butchered that one. So let's get in a uh, home form. Let's make advantage of it. Let's put all the pressure on the players. Let's let them know that we have faith. Let's see what we can do. Dejan Brown making his first league start at the start of the season. Let's see what we can do. 
So let's let's zoom. It won't let me zoom in. So then, it's been a difficult game so far, not really created many chances, obviously as you can see, we've got extended highlights on, let's see what we can do in this one, obviously Elder with the throw in now, it's Ibu Adams, I really want to put some, let's put some speed on this, speed during highlights, let's go like that. So here we go, much more pace now. Kenzo to Ben Osborne, finds Dejon Brown. He's doing a really good job up top. In his first competitive start, we've lost the ball here. Key, what are we going to do? Are we going to be able to defend this opportunity? It's a really good cross. Zetterstrom commands his box well. Let's see what Zetterstrom is going to do. Out to the centre-backs like we're asking. Let's get that proper play going. Ben Osborne finds Dejon Brown. Corey Blackett Taylor's throw on goal. He shoots. He scores. Is he on side? That's going to be the big question. He scored on his debut. It's 1-0 to Derby County. Just 12 minutes played. Some really good play out from the back with Curtis Nelson, Ibu Adams and Ben Osborne. Dejon Brown, a really good flick through and what a goal from Corey Blackett Taylor who takes it wider, the goalkeeper, and just slots it into the back of the net. Unbelievable. That puts Derby County second in the division after this first game of the season. What are we going to do for the rest of this game? You can obviously see uh, Swansea City playing with a five-back formation. The Ambi picks up the ball on the right-hand side. Plays a 1-2 with Caden Jackson. It's a cross into the box. Back at Taylor again. Vigru does really well to turn that behind. It's a corner for Derby County. Ben Osborne is going to put a ball into the box and it's saved by the goalkeeper. We're currently dominating this game. Three, four shots, three on target, 0.3 XG. Swansea City haven't done a lot. As I said in the starting episode of this uh, series, we've got to take it to teams. Ibu Adams here finds Caden Jackson on the right-hand side. He scores a goal. That is a football. That is 2-0 Derby County. He scored on debut. Swansea City have not been able to do anything to this Derby County side. Look at Erin Cashin here. Really good ball into the ball-winning midfielder in Ebo Adams and Caden Jackson takes a really nice first touch and puts it back the goalkeeper. We're in a really, really good position. Swansea in their five-back formation isn't necessarily working. You look over here at, at the focus of attacks. We're doing really well across the board. Elder heads that ball away from the, the highlight. Corey Blackett-Taylor now is breaking up the field. Is he going to get past his man? Finds Ben Osborne. Dejon Brown, he finds Caden Jackson. We're doing some really nice football here. What an opportunity this could be. Ryan Niambi finds himself on the byline again. Finds Kenzo Holdmine. It's Ibu Adams, Ben Osborne. Osborne shoots just wide of the post. Oh, it was a deflection. It's a corner, which Ben Osborne will take. He swings it out. Brown heads it on. Does that go into the back of the net? It's an own goal. It's 3-0 to Derby County. Who would have thought this going into this game? I certainly did not expect such a, a big scoreline. Dejon Brown heads it back in. And Joe Allen just knocks it past his goalkeeper. I think Ibo Adams would have put the ball past the goalkeeper anyway. But Derby County are absolutely flying in this one. We're doing an absolute amazing job so far. What is going to happen? Swansea City have finally had their first shot of the game. But Derby County are on the ball again. It's been a really, really good first half. We've been really good in possession. Corey Blackett-Taylor beats his man again. Beats another man. It's Kenzo. Finds Ben Osborne. What a save from the goalkeeper. Seven shots, five on target, three goals. As we head into half time now, five minutes added time. It's been a really, really good performance. Callum Elder looks a bit on the tired side. We'll keep an eye on that heading into the second half. But what a performance we've seen from Derby County. What a performance from Dejon Brown as well. Is that uh, starting striker, 7.4 rating. He's picked up an assist early on in this game. I'm really happy with this performance. I'm going to tell them that as well. The players look delighted. Look at some of the options off the bench. We'll probably see David Ozo, Joe Ward, and we will see some changes in this second half. But what a performance so far. It's been really, really good. Let's get straight into the second half. As Swansea City kick us off, what is going to happen here? We win the ball back early doors. We've done really well at winning the ball and creating good opportunities. Jackson all the way back to the goalkeeper. Erin Cashin now. What is going to happen? Callum Elder down to Blackett-Taylor. Good tackle by Josh Key. We're heading towards the end of the 40th minute. Uh, we're obviously 47 minutes in. It's, it's a clearance 
That's the first proper opportunity we've seen from Swansea City. Nelson finds Kenzo. Kenzo finds Osborne. It's Blackett Taylor now. He breaks past. It's a blocked shot. Now Caden Jackson is apparently looking injured, but he looks all right to me down on uh, the board down at the bottom. Let's see. Ben Osborne is... Oh, Caden Jackson is actually down and out. Ben Osborne puts a ball into the box. It gets cleared. Blackett Taylor now. Blackett Taylor finds Callum Elder. We're going to just make a quick substitution. Uh, it looks as if Caden Jackson is done for this game. Uh, we're going to replace him with... Uh, let's go with Kane Wilson. We're bringing Kane Wilson into that winger position. Callum Elder looks okay now. Let's give a team talk to Kane Wilson. Trust you to make the difference. We're already 3-0 up. Let's see what we can do. 55th minute. Let's see if we can get another goal in this one. Or let's see if we should maybe consolidate a little bit later on. 60 minutes in now. Some of the players are starting to get a little bit tired. We're going to make some changes in the 65th minute. Are we going to get any more highlights before then? Let's see what is happening. No highlights. We get to the 65th minute. We're going to bring out... Uh, Dejon Brown. No, we're not. We're going to keep Dejon Brown in, actually. We're going to get Tom Barkhazen in for Corey Blackett Taylor. What a performance he's put in. We're going to swap Ibu Adams for David Ozo. Uh, you look at the back four. Can we make any real changes? We're going to move Ben Osborne to left back. And we're going to bring in. Uh, we're going to bring in Tawanda Chiwa to play in that advanced playmaker role. That's four changes. It keeps us an extra one to potentially bring in uh, Joe Ward a little bit later down the line. Maybe even um, Nat Phillips, depending on what happens over the course of the next few minutes of the game. We've got Kane Wilson on a set piece now. Puts the ball into the box. An in-swinger. Falls to Barcazen on the edge of the box. Finds Niambi. Niambi's going to shoot. It's a brilliant save. It's another corner for Derby County. Osborne is over this one. It's an in-swinger. Puts it in. It's cleared away. Dejon Brown picks up the ball. It's Curtis Nelson now. Brown on the left-hand side. Wins another corner for Derby County. What a performance. What a performance this has been. Certainly not what I was anticipating. It's another corner into the box. Niambi. She were heads saved by the goalkeeper. Ben Osborne to Tom Barkazen. Kenzo Holdmine. Osborne into the box. It's cleared away. Kenzo. She were. Ozo finds Niambi. Out on the right-hand side. Puts the ball forward. It's back with Kenzo. It's Ozo now. We're, we're absolutely dominating this game. It's a really, really good performance for Derby County. Wilson, found on the right-hand side. Loses the ball. Niambi picks up the ball in midfield. It's David Ozo now. Breaking through the opposition. Takes a shot wide of the goal. We're looking to get towards the end of the game. I'm thinking potentially uh, a change uh, maybe to a back five. But we might just keep it and just bring in uh, Joe Ward. Uh, 80 minutes. We're getting towards 80 minutes gone. Chiwa to Niambi. It's Kane Wilson now. Kane Wilson shoots wide of the goal. So let's get into some changes there. And we're going to replace Ryan Niambi with Kane Wilson down at right back. We're going to bring in Joe Ward in that right wing position. Let's see what Joe Ward can do. Obviously, requested to leave after the offer came in from Blackpool. Is he going to be able to put in a performance today uh, with the last few minutes of the game? Obviously, I've not given him a great deal of time. I've got to think about the future of this club. Obviously, Curtis Nelson, Ryan Niambi both still playing. Uh, Joe Ward will get the same opportunities as them to play football. We're heading into the 90th minute now. Swansea City on the attack with four minutes to go. Key, Pearl Hart over the bar. We've done a real it's done a really good performance today. 13 shots, 7 on target, 46% possession. We've only conceded 5 shots, 2 on target, 0.51 xG. So corner for Derby County, which Joe Ward's going to put into the box. Dejon Brown's there in the middle. It's saved by the goalkeeper. It's all over. What a brilliant result for Derby County. What a performance. Corey Blackett Taylor, Caden Jackson, and an own goal from Joe Allen. Some really good performances in there. I think Dejon Brown put in an excellent display. Corey Blackett Taylor picking up man of the match. What a performance that was. What a great win. What a performance. I think that should probably put us at the top of the championship table. No, it puts us second uh, just behind Burnley on goal difference. Obviously, early doors. We've got a lot of debuts in this game. And what a performance. Uh, Caden Jackson's picked up an injury, which will see him out for the next three or four days. He probably wasn't going to play in that Stockport game anyway. Uh, a bunch of players have made their debuts. 
I'm absolutely buzzing with this victory. Uh, what a performance it was. Uh, we'll come back to you uh, for the next episode uh, for Luton Town at the end of the month. We'll go through the games. Obviously, uh, let's go through pre-season. Obviously, 6-1 versus Pollock, Yates, Elder, Kenzo, Cashin, Blackett Taylor and Dejon Brown. You've then got Claremont, which was 5-2. Jackson, Osborne, Kenzo, Yates and Harness. Then Toulouse, Osborne and Holdmine getting the goals. Uh, Yates and Mendes Lang picking up goals in the Watford game. And Osborne and Harness picking up their goals for this one. We're going to come back to you for the Luton Town game. So if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell and I'll catch you in the next episode.